Uh, finally, we've got Fiona. Fiona is 56. She's from Great Yarmouth. Hi, Fiona. Periods have been all over the place Morning. and just a little bit worried. Fiona, what do you want to... You're 56. Goodness me, you look amazing. What do you want, <laughs> what do you want to ask Hilary? Thank you. <laughs> Um, I want to ask him, I've been to see my GP and they wouldn't give me the blood tests and my periods are a bit up and down for the last eight months and they said the tests wouldn't be accurate enough. I'm just wondering if I can insist on having a test. Well, it's the only definitive way of saying whether you're in your perimenopause. Um, so your periods are still there, but they're irregular, which is a common sign uh, of them out. I would say you have to be perimenopausal, be at 56, irregular periods. Um, it, it goes without out saying that you're going to be in your perimenopause. So if you had blood levels done, it would show a high level of FSH. And if it's over 30, that's it. You're in your menopause and therefore you would be a candidate for treatment. So, yes, you're entitled to a blood test and doctors shouldn't dismiss that. No. Uh, even though they might be saying, well, let's go on the clinical symptoms alone. Fiona, thank you. Right, I, think so you should, I think you should definitely ask 